Hey angels. So angels, this is one of those nights where I will not be getting any sleep anytime soon. So I decided to do this video that I was thinking about. Um, and it's a pet peeve video and I was thinking about my pet peeves because I have so many pet peeves like probably more than a hundred but I decided to um, do five pet peeves that actually drive me nuts um, and these are some of the five that I came up with that really drives me nuts when they happen okay so number one is when someone sneezes and don't cover their mouth <laughs> that drives me nuts crazy and insane because I'm thinking who does that well I know some people who do that but really seriously are you gonna sneeze and don't cover your mouth <laughs> that drives me nuts number two when someone like is near me sitting near me or maybe standing near me and they keep fidgeting on something that drives me insane sometimes I'm just like in my mind I'm like would you sit the freak down or would you get from by me because like it drives me insane for somebody to be near me and keep on fidgeting on something like calm it down buddy please number three when people try to force me to do things to do something just because it's what everybody else is doing first of all I'm not everybody else I happily stand out and if I made my mind up that I don't want to do something why are you trying to force me just because everybody else is doing it or because the majority of people are doing it like for example if I say that I don't if I say I don't want to have a baby for instance and just because most people have kids you're trying to force that on me really if I'm not a drinker and just because most people drink and I'm around you you're trying to force that on me that drives me nuts okay because if I say I'm not gonna do something or if I made up my mind it's my choice okay I'm a grown woman I make my own choices and I do what's best for me so don't be trying to force nothing on me because most people are doing it mm -mm. number four when you go in a public bathroom to use it and there's poop in the toilet that absolutely drives me nuts who in the world leaves poop in a toilet okay When you're done with the toilet, that's why it has the flusher on the side for you to flush it. Don't you get it? Don't you understand? That drives me in nuts, like insane. And number five, um, like when somebody breaks something of yours that you really liked and they say, I'm sorry. What do you mean you're sorry? You just broke my brand new computer, my brand new TV, and that's all you could say is you're sorry? No, you better pull some money out and buy me another one, okay? I want another one just like the one you just broke or one that's better. Sorry, my behind, okay? 
sorry my behind you don't tell me you sorry after you break something that I love and I bought with my precious hard saved up money okay don't tell me that you are sorry because that's not gonna cut it you better get out there and find me another one you better buy me another one and I want it soon soon as possible so yeah, these are, <laughs> these are the five pet peeves that absolutely drive me nuts when they happen. When somebody sneezes and don't cover their mouths, when somebody keep fidgeting on things around me, when people try to force me to do something just because everybody else is doing it or the majority of people are doing it, when you go in a public bathroom to use it and there's poop in the toilet and when somebody breaks something that you loved or you know that's expensive that you bought that's hard to get back that you bought with your money and they just break it and say they're sorry and that's it no you're gonna buy me another one and I mean it too not sorry sorry doesn't bring it back so yeah, those are five of my pet peeves that absolutely, five pet peeves that absolutely drive me nuts. And I have more and I'll save those for another video. So thanks so much, angels. Um, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.